It's the prostate support supplement you've probably never heard of, and I'm not talking about Salpimento. I'm talking instead about Pygium africanum. It's the bark of the African plum tree, and has been used in Europe for several decades to help men who are dealing with benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH. One of the issues with that, as guys of a certain age know, is lots of trips to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Pygium is so popular that I have seen it in expensive prostate support supplements. However, Pygium itself is rather inexpensive. So what's the research say about Pygium? Well, let's take a look at it now. So let's begin with this study, which goes back to 1999. Men who have BPH are split into two groups. One takes 50 milligrams twice a day of Pygium. Another takes 100 milligrams just once per day. Results showed that both people taking once a day as well as twice a day showed improvement in what's called their prostate symptom scores. In addition to that, their urine flow improved between 16 and 19 percent, and they rated their quality of life as improving by almost 30 percent as well. And it gets even better because after one year, some of these guys actually said that their prostate problems essentially disappeared. But we're not done yet. Here's another investigation. This is a meta-analysis, a study of other studies. It involves 18 different Pygium clinical trials involving over 1,500 guys. Results show that men taking Pygium supplements were two times more likely to report improvement in BPH symptoms. They also reported a 19% decline in nighttime bathroom breaks, and it was also a 24% reduction in what's called residual urine volume. That's the amount of urine that stays in the bladder after you've done your business. And they also reported an improvement in urine stream strength as well. That also improved by about 23%. The makers of one prostate supplement called Prostate Easy Max also conducted a phase two clinical trial several years ago. This is technically a multi-ingredient supplement composed of Pygium, but also Salpimento, wild willow extract, pumpkin seed, and lycopene. 57 men with moderate BPH symptoms took either this prostate support supplement or a placebo daily for three months. Results? Prostate symptom scores decreased by 36% in people taking the supplement versus only 8% in those who took placebos. The urge to urinate during the daytime decreased by about 16%, but at nighttime it was even better. Nighttime urination frequency decreased by about 40%. Now, while that's encouraging, let's keep in mind that this is a multi-ingredient supplement, so so this study alone can't prove if Pygium was the key factor in these results or if it was a combination of the other ingredients. Having said that, all the research is not rosy. I'll point your attention to this study that combined Pygium and Stinging Nettle. Stinging Nettle is another supplement that's popular for BPH as well. In this study, men with prostate problems were given 25 milligrams of Pygium and 300 milligrams of Stinging Nettle twice daily for six months. Results? Not so great. Prostate symptom scores decreased by about 22% in those taking the supplement, but about 19% in those who took placebo, so not a big deal. There was also no significant decrease in urine flow, and the quality of life scores in these gentlemen taking the supplement also didn't change very much either. Now, the poor results of this study don't necessarily mean that stinging nettle nullifies the effects of Pygium. Rather, I think these researchers just did not use enough Pygium to make a difference. And while we're on the topic, stinging nettle is also popular for BPH symptoms. This study appears to indicate that stinging nettle may not be as great as some people make it out to be. Now, when I investigated this, side effects from Pygium appear to be pretty mild for the most part gastrointestinal problems appear to be the big thing that people report. I do think that that can probably be minimized by taking it with food. Although to reduce your risk of issues, begin with less than a company recommends for at least the first week. Give your body time to get used to this. Also, if you take any blood thinner medications or you're going to have surgery or you're pregnant or you're nursing, you absolutely want to talk to your doctor before taking Pygium supplements. So if you're encouraged and you're going to run to your local health food store and search for Pygium, here's some things to look for. Number one, you want to look for Pygium Africa condom bark extract. You want to look for a supplement that has at least 100 milligrams per day. And in a perfect world, the supplement facts level should also tell you that it has between 12 and 14 percent of plant sterols. Plant sterols like beta cytosterol appear to be one of the key active ingredients in Pygium. And from the research I saw, they really didn't point out whether it was best to take Pygium in the morning or in the evening. So you might want to experiment with that to see what works best for you. If Pygium supplements are going to ease your BPH symptoms, the research appears to show that it's going to take a few weeks to kick in, although some people online I saw said it started working within the first week. 